Yo, what up, people? It's been a while, I know, but today we're gonna be making this eye spell you see on screen right now. It's a pretty cool effect, it's more like an AoE spell kind of thing, with ice spikes shooting up off the ground, and some smoke and some frostbite on the floor, and stuff like that. So let's get right into it. So to make some ice, you wanna start by taking out your ice tray, pouring some water in that shit, and then put it in the fridge, and then it's just time to wait. And while you wait, you can open up Blender. So when we get into Blender, we want to select everything and delete it. And then Shift A and add a plane. Then press Tab to enter edit mode. Press K to use the knife tool. Use the Enter to confirm your cuts when you cut from side corner to corner. And then select the vertices in the middle. Press G, press Z and just drag it up until you get a nice cone. Export that into Unity. You're gonna need two textures, you can try to replicate them here or you can just download them from the link in the below. That's pretty much it, so let's get into the fun part. So let's get started. We're gonna start by making two shaders. First, an unlit graph. We're gonna make it, name it glow. This will be a very simple glow shader, as I have done in the mo most videos. So, first thing we need is to add a 2D texture as well as a color on mode set it to hdr set it to white pass it to the full then drag the texture out here drag that into a sample te sample texture 2d the r into a multiply into the b and the a multiply out to another multiply and here we're gonna drag out our color put it into the a drag out the b and make a vertex color this will let us control the color in the particle system and then we will move this a bit drag out the out into a split take the a into the alpha and the out into the color and we can select our texture in here already uh, smoke and also press this little cog here and make it transparent save that close this down then right click create we're gonna make another shader an unlit graph call it ice this will just be a very simple thing to make the ice look a little bit better so what we want to do is right click create node simple simple noise i'm gonna set this to like 150 then drag this into a lerp into the t and we want to add two colors here they're both going to be have the mode hdr as well as choose a bright blue and a more whitish we can up the intensity to like that's a bit much maybe two and two and then you just drag the colors in here. You might have to play around with the colors a bit to get to get it to look nice. But I would say something like this. And then just plug it into the out. Like that. Save. And then we're gonna create three materials. So right click, highlight the create and press M. And then with the first one, we're going to name smoke. The next one, we're going to name frost mark. And the last one, we're going to name ice. So when we're done with that, we're going to uh, want to make an empty object, rename it to ice spell or whatever you want to call it. And then right click on that, create effect particle system rename rename this to spike also remember to reset the transform to zero 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 so we're gonna set the lifetime to two we're gonna have a 3d start size and it's gonna be random but we will wait to set the values and let's go down here to shape first uh, let's remove the start speed we want the start speed to be zero down here on shape we want to make it a circle and also rotate it 
minus 90 degrees so it faces upwards instead of sideways then the radius I'm gonna increase it a bit to like 7 maybe and radius thickness is gonna be 0 or 0 0.1 or 2 it depends uh, then we want to use loop here loop will the will make it so we will have an even distribution of particles all the way around so we want to have this we want to have a burst spread here Just like that, and we want to change this to a burst as well. 30 is fine. As you see, they're evenly distributed around the circle. So what we're going to do now is go down to render, render mode, select mesh. Select our spike we did earlier. It will be very small, so go into your spike here and set the scale to 100, and then apply it. And go back here and change the view mode to local and as you see the spikes are now coming up of the ground uh, what we want to do next is to drag the material onto this uh, also remember to drag the shader onto the correct materials so like that now we have our spikes so we do want to give give this some variation because it's they're all the same right now and it doesn't look that good so we want to change the size to 1.5 and 0 0.5 this changes the length of the spikes and then we're going to get down here to start rotation we want to make it random between two constants and this will make it so the higher number you have the more outwards they will point so if you want it even more you can set that to 40 and yeah you understand so i think i will keep it around 30 or something like that i think that looks good uh yeah so then let's go down here to where is it size of a lifetime so we want this to fast come up the ground and then in the end here we can right click and create new key we want to do something like this and make sure this this thing is almost yeah like it's not going everywhere we want a clean line so here you can play around with how fast you want the spikes to come up of the ground depending how aggressive you want your attack and same thing for when they disappear how fast you want them to uh, get smaller and disappear into the ground i'm gonna keep it something like this <coughs> uh, i think it's fine then we want to add some more effects to make this a little bit nicer to, look, to make the effect go together so the first thing we want to add is some shards some eye shards so let's create a cone we want to rotate to minus 90 degrees so it points upwards we want to match the radius to our spikes i think it was something like that yeah seven around seven radius thickness should be something like 0 0.2 i think it will look good and we will have a burst here as well like 50 maybe and set to the rate over time to zero uh the start speed we're gonna set random between two constants and it's gonna be 50 and 70 
like that. And also the start size, we want to have random v2 const, two constants, 0 0.1, 0 dot. 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 and also we want to have gravity on these guys so we're gonna set a gravity modifier of 10 also go down here to collision and apply it to planes world so if we watch this now we need to move it up off the ground so it doesn't instantly collide you will see it bounces quite a lot so you can turn down the bounciness to a level that you see you feel like is good for ice also you could dampen the speed of them so they don't keep sliding over the floor so they will stay like that and to make this a bit clearer we're gonna change it to a mesh we're gonna choose the default cube it's already chosen and then we're gonna drag on our ice material here so if we play these two together, you see it gives a nice little impact to the effect. Of course you can mess around with the size of the particles as well as the radius here. I'm going to put down the speed a little bit to like 40 and 60. I think that looks good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select our spikes here, Control D, and go down to Render. And we want a horizontal billboard here. And we want to drag on our Frostmark, fish, frostmark uh, material here. We can change the intensity to something like 2. And turn off 3D size. And we want to increase the size a bit. If we play this, then pause. We also want to take this up of the ground so we can actually see what's going on here. Uh, frost mark. Also change this to the frost mark, like that. Uh, we want to increase the size even more. Maybe something like fifteen. Also here you can change the color of it so it's more bluish. We'll increase the intensity a bit more. Also this should be full white. Just have to play around with the colors a bit until it fits. I think that looks pretty nice. So now we have some frost on the ground and the frost we can rename it to this frost as well as this we rename it to shards so on our frost we want it to on um, color of a lifetime change this to zero right click to add a new alpha thingy and put it up this will make it so they fade after a while and also we want to turn our uh, on size of a lifetime click on the curve and delete the two keys in the back so now it just fades out nice so on the charge we can control D and rename it to smoke Take our smoke material here, drag it on to this. And go down to render. We want a billboard. And we want to set the gravity to zero. The speed to one, two, to three. Something like that. Uh, we want some size of a lifetime as well we're gonna just do it like this and start size let's set it to a constant and put it up to something like this we might have to increase the radius a bit like that 
and also remembers his mass part max particle size to three. And we want to increase the intensity a bit as well. To like, that's too much. I think two is fine. Change the color to a light blue again. Uh, on the smoke, turn off collision. Like that. Scroll up and we want to change the start lifetime to 0 0.5. The start speed, let's lower it a bit. I think they come up too fast. I'm going to move this up a bit. Like that. I also want a random start size here. I think it will look better. So let's set it to 3. Between 3 and 7. Like that. Lower the radius a bit. And also, a thing that will make this look much better, generally when you use smoke, we want to use some random rotation here. So, to 0 to 360 degrees. This, this will give some more diversion to the smoke. Uh, you could also set this to minus 360. So there we go guys, that's pretty much the effect. Go and check out my Patreon, where you can subscribe to the second tier to get all the project files for this video and all other videos, and also some extra goodies. So, I hope you see you in the next video, and have a great day.